My name is Xiao Appia, Transcript Evaluator at Rutgers University Newark's College of Arts and Sciences and University College. Are you understanding your transfer credit evaluation designed for transfer students from New Jersey Community Colleges? This presentation will give an overview on how transfer credits are evaluated specifically in the Newark College of Arts and Sciences, NCAS or School 21 and University College Newark, UCN or School 62. Once a transcript is evaluated and approved, there are two places by which a student can find and review the evaluation. Through the admissions link, students log in with their application email and eight-character password provided by the admissions office. Another place to review your evaluation is on Degree Navigator, where you must log in with your NetID and password and then click My Courses on the left-hand side. On your evaluation, you may see the following transfer credit course code. TRT21EC course code means that your course transferred, but it is not equivalent to any specific course at Rutgers University Newark. Instead, your course was transferred as free elective credit, which counts towards the 120 total degree credits needed to graduate. The following codes are used for courses that, again, do not have direct equivalencies or have expired but can still satisfy the core curriculum requirements at Rutgers University Newark. For courses that fulfills the arts and media requirement, you will see TRT21ART. For natural science courses, you will see TRT21NS. For history, TRT21HIS. For literature, TRT21LIT. For other liberal arts, TRT21OLA and for social science TRT21SS. TRT21PRO is the professional elective codes which is issued once for a maximum of 12 credits. Professional electives are courses that are professional in nature. For example, courses in nursing, aviation, and education are considered professional electives. If a student completes 30 credits of nursing courses, only 12 credits will be transferred and issued under TRT21 PRO. For all NJCC students who earned the associate's degree, specifically associates in science or associates in art, they will see 21999999 on their finalized evaluation, which indicates that they have met all RUN core curriculum requirements and are not required to take the core curriculum courses upon transferring. Major elective codes are issued for courses that do not have direct equivalencies but have been evaluated by their respective departments as an elective that should count towards the major program of study. These codes are issued as 21 for the school, NCAS, subject area, and 001. For example, a psychology course that is not directly equivalent can transfer as a major elective you will see 21830, which is a psychology subject code 001. For lump sum or free electives, TRT21SUM is issued. This is issued for courses that are not individually evaluated. For example, expired courses that are not used towards the core curriculum requirements can be issued collectively as lump sum credits, which are free electives that counts towards the 120 total degree credits for graduation and not towards any specific major program of study. The following addresses some of the frequently asked questions we get regarding the transfer process and transcript evaluation. How many credits are likely to transfer? For all community colleges, a minimum of 60 credits and a maximum of 65 credits are accepted. Do my grades GPA transfer? No. Your grades and GPA do not transfer from your prior school. Your grades are used to determine whether your course will transfer or not. Once you come to Rutgers, you will have a fresh start. Is credit granted for CLEP or AP? Yes. For AP, you must have passed with a score of 4 or better. And for CLEP, you must have scored above the 50th percentile. Why didn't I get all my credits? Courses taken over 7 years ago are deemed expired and may or may not be transferable. Courses passed with a grade below a C are not transferable. So if you earn a C- or a D grade on a course, it will not transfer. 
Some of the courses may not have transferred over yet because we may still be in the process of evaluating your final transcript. Can I take any more classes outside of Rutgers University in Newark? The answer is no. Once you enroll at RUN, you are required to take the rest of your coursework at this institution. How do I appeal my transfer evaluation? Upon reviewing your completed evaluation, you find that the course was not properly evaluated, you can complete a transfer evaluation appeal form, which can be found on our website or in our office. When appealing, keep two things in mind. Acceptance of transfer courses to the major or minor are at the discretion of the respective academic departments. You must provide a syllabus or course description if it is needed for the departmental review. This must be attached to the completed appeal form before it is submitted. Where do I send my updated transcript? All updated transcripts can be sent either electronically using the CEEB codes for NCAS or UC or through postal mail at the following address. All NJCC transfer students with either an Associates in Arts AA or Associates in Science AS degrees are covered under the New Jersey Statewide Transfer Agreement or LAMPIT bill. Under this agreement, students who transfer with an AA or an AS awarded by an NJCC shall be fully transferable and credited as, first, as the first two years of bachelor degree at the four-year institution of higher education in New Jersey to which the students admitted. How do I know I have been awarded LAMPIT? All students who have been awarded LAMPIT should see 21-999-999 code listed on their completed evaluation under the semester in which their AA or AS degree was earned from their previous institution. Why do I still need to test for math if I see the 999 code? You may be required to test for math even if you are a LAMPIS student because your intended major requires a higher level of math and you did not have a transfer of math equivalent to our 21-640-109 college algebra course or higher math. If I go back and finish my degree at community college, can I be awarded LAMPIT later on? All requirements and AA or AS degrees must be earned prior to transferring to RUN. You cannot be awarded LAMPIT if, you, if your degree is certified after you have started at RUN as a matriculated student. Why wasn't I awarded LAMPIT? There could be several reasons as to why LAMPIT was not awarded. Your AS or AA degree was not posted on your final transcript from your NJCC school. You earned your AS or AA degree prior to January 2005, which is not covered under the LAMPIT bill. You didn't earn an AA or an AS degree. Instead, you earned an AAS, Associates in Applied Science, or an AFA, Associates in Fine Arts, which are not included in the LAMPIT bill. This concludes the presentation on Are You Understanding Your Transfer Credits for New Jersey Community College Transfer Students? For any additional questions, please visit our website. Thank you.